What's up, taters? This is Tree from treeoflargy.com. So I wanted to give an update on this idiot here. Uh, you, you all asked me about him and you will, and some of you have been sending me some articles about him, but I've been keeping up with them. Now, for those of you who don't know, uh, I, don't worry, I'll have this video uh, at the end of this video. So if you don't know what's going on with this guy, I will have him at the end of this video and I will also have him at the top uh, up here somewhere. I think if I do it right, I'll, it'll be right up here. So you can watch this video to get an update, but I'll just go ahead and give you like a quick summary. So this is a politician. What is his name? I can never remember this fool's name. Thompson, Thompson. What is his name? Tyrone Thompson. <laughs> <laughs> no, they don't say his last first name anyway so his last name is thompson okay so thompson over here is driving uh with a um without a license plate in the front now here in georgia we don't have to have a license plate in the front we have to have it in the back so we can have vanity plates in the front if we want to but in minnesota you have to have a license plate in the front and in the back so when he was driving towards a police officer the police officer noticed that he did not have a license plate in the front so he pulled him over and in the process of pulling him over he found out that his minnesota license was suspended and that he was driving on a wisconsin uh, uh, license and that is illegal i don't think there's any state in georgia uh, excuse me any state in america where you are allowed to have uh li licenses in two states so if you for example if i was to move to texas or florida i think i have either 21 days or 30 days anywhere between 21 to 30 days to transfer my georgia's license georgia license to either texas or florida and normally that is done by turning in your uh, your old state license where you used to be a resident. So what he did instead, uh, because his Minnesota license, his Minneapolis license, well, his Minnesota license was suspended because the fool didn't pay his child support. Mm -hmm. Honey, I'm going to give you all the tea on this one. So then, you know, he renewed his license in Wisconsin and it's been active since the year 2000s. So people are like, you can't do that. So then they begin to do a lot of searching and reference in reference to see where his legal residency is because if he is not a legal resident in Minneapolis, then he cannot represent that thug district, okay? So in the process of going through all of that, Honey, they done found out that he's a women beater. Ooh, he likes to hit on women. Yeah, honey, wouldn't you? I mean, don't pay child support. Get your license suspended and you beat up on women. I mean, I told you he was a thug. Didn't I tell you? Lord have mercy. So anyway, all kinds of stuff start coming out on this fool and they and and uh the politicians are like you're gonna need to resign you're gonna need to resign he like i ain't gonna resign or nothing you know so they was like you need to resign you need to re he like i ain't gonna resign y'all just doing it because i'm black see that's what that is i'm black so y'all can't be doing that because that's racist man <laughs> <laughs> when they started to dig up all this dirt on him and oh honey i'm going to show you the video uh the videos mwah, delicious uh they're showing his victims are coming forward because he's like he didn't do it it's always i didn't do it right i didn't do nothing i didn't do nothing so his female victims black women right black women are like yeah he did yeah he did do this now, uh, the reason why he didn't get a, uh, a harsh punishment for a lot of the, uh, for the domestic abuse 
and the assaults that he was charged with is because he took a plea deal. He took a plea bar uh, bargain and a lot of those cases got dismissed um, for either a plea deal or because the women didn't show up. Now that could be because he either paid them off or he talked them out of it. It could be a lot of reasons, but it doesn't matter because the the hospital documentation, um, the photos from the markings, as well as the confession and the 911 calls are, are enough proof to show that yeah, he did do this. And, uh, and this is, this is the reason why they did a lot of the plea deals. So this guy is a POS. He is a huge POS. And at first he was like, I'm not going to resign. So I got that. Um, let's see if I got that right here. Let me see if I can read it. Here we go. So, uh, Thompson initially rejected calls for his resignation, but on Wednesday, his lawyer said he would take some time to consider resignation after being found guilty in a 2019 hospital disturbance. Mm -hmm. Now, I, you're probably asking what happened in the 2019 hospital disturbance. This is dealing with some woman again. You know what? After a while, I kind of like don't care. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, you probably gonna want me to go dig that up. I'm not. I do know I did skim through it and it has something to do with some woman. And uh, as always. And so he's playing that I didn't do it. And now he's playing that well, I don't remember that or I don't recall. So he got himself a nice lawyer, a nice white lawyer. Sorry, I didn't pronounce that right. A nice white lawyer. So it's amazing how this guy always talking about how he's so oppressed. I'm so oppressed and I, that the white people are racist and, and everybody's is, is making me out to be a victim. But you got a white lawyer. I notice a lot of these thugs always get white lawyers. They don't never get anybody black. Grandmaster Jay's constantly talking about some. He's fighting the power with this and the other with the uh, with his militia. And what he get? He got himself a white lawyer. So I'm trying to figure like, why y'all don't get Crump, huh? Why y'all don't get Attorney Crump the Chump to represent you guys when y'all get in some real trouble? Oh, that's right. Okay, we understand why. But anyway, let's watch this video. It's pretty good. It goes into a great detail of what's happening and what has happened. And this right here will catch you guys up to date. But oh, 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 hold on. But he did apologize. Let me just say he did apologize uh, to the sergeant. Yes, child. Mm -hmm. Somebody had a, a good piece of humble pie. So remember when he kept talking about that uh, he was uh, pulled over because he was driving while black and the sergeant was just racially profiling. And so the chief said, you need to apologize to my sergeant. Hunty, oh Lord. Mr. Thompson showed up and apologized to the sergeant to his face, child. Yes. Let me see if I can get to that paragraph there. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's read, let's go to read these first two paragraphs and then we'll watch the video. The St. Paul Police Department says, and Battle State Representative John Thompson, that's his name, John, whatever, um, has apologized to the sergeant he accused of racially profiling him during a traffic stop earlier this month. The department said Johnson showed up to the Western District office unexpectedly and had a very brief conversation with the sergeant. And then it goes on to say the sergeant pulled over, blah, 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 blah. So, ooh, 
you know he in trouble because you know thugs don't apologize unless they in trouble so all that all that whole you pulled me over because i was black and i'm being victimized and ooh, the white supremacist doctor and all this other stuff that was a nut that was just a bunch of a uh, jibber jabber and turn he turned out that he had to apologize because he was lying okay so now let's look at the video and then this will catch everybody up and so the only thing we got to do is wait and see what happens so e we will either know if he will resign either this week but we should know definitely by next week so time will tell minnesota state representative john thompson remains at an impasse with the governor and other dfl party leaders over their calls for his resignation they called for his resignation after police and court records dating back 18 years show several allegations of domestic abuse. Tonight, Five Eyewitness News has obtained evidence photos from one of the alleged crime scenes in 2004. Chief political reporter Tom Hauser is here with that and more. Tom? Kevin, these Egan police evidence photos are from a 2004 case when a woman made a 911 call that resulted in a hang-up. It is standard practice for police to investigate anyway. When they arrived at an Egan apartment complex, they found John Thompson leaving the scene of an alleged case of domestic assault. Mr. Thompson, can we talk to you for a moment? Yeah. Minnesota State Representative John Thompson made his first... By the way, this whamming that's with him, that's his wife. The fool is married. <laughs> You, you make babies that you can't even pay for. You beat up a woman and I, we never seen your wife until now. Notice how every time this fool is out in, in public, especially when he wants to beat up on Pian, uh, Piana's, uh, did I pronounce that right? Uh, Pianta's, uh, Piana's, the little thing, the pepper mache thing that you beat up on. Y'all tell me about it in the comments section, whatever. Um, he wants to beat up on those things without his wife around. But all of a sudden, now that he that now that has surfaced about him being a domestic abuser, now he wants to have wifey around as a PR stunt. Boy, you don't try it, I swear. First public comments on Wednesday since a series of legal problems surfaced over the past three weeks, including a guilty verdict in a misdemeanor obstruction of legal process case resulting from a disturbance at North Memorial Hospital in 2019. Who I represent. Yeah, I thought so. Let's let's look, let's re, let's uh, rewind that. So there you go, guys. So we know what happened in 2019. Let's rewind that a little bit, bit more. Mr. Thompson, can we talk to you for a moment? Minnesota State Representative John Thompson made his first public comments on Wednesday since a series of legal problems surfaced over the past three weeks including a guilty verdict in a misdemeanor obstruction of legal process case resulting from a disturbance at North Memorial Hospital in 2019. Okay. Who I represent, who I fight for, are people who look just like me. Uh-huh. And they're thuggish just like you. That's how you got elected. Oh, my God. It's always, oh, my God, who I work for and everything like that, who I represent is just like me. So the white man is victimizing me and they making me an example. It's no, no accountability. It's never their fault. Never, never their fault. Always playing a race car. But, but, but let me tell you guys something. It's just a matter of time. This is not going to work anymore. Watch my words. I know what I'm talking about. Sometimes there's some legal ramifications behind that. But he continues to decline answering questions about several allegations of domestic abuse dating back to 2003. Please, no questions. I will answer questions at a later time. No, this you won't. Me time to spend with my wife. She's been through a lot. No, she hasn't. <laughs> and he's not answering questions about these evidence photos obtained from Egan Police by Five Eyewitness News. They're from one of the domestic abuse allegations from 2004. The police photos show abrasions and marks on the victim's neck and arm. A broken kitchen table where she claims Thompson threw her. Torn blinds that came down when she tried to escape through a window. And a phone she claims Thompson broke 
when she tried to call 911. I think everyone mm. Thompson and his attorney, Jordan Kushner, have repeatedly questioned the authenticity of police reports of domestic abuse involving Thompson. In a Wait a minute. Not only did this racist guy get a lawyer, he got a white Jewish lawyer. Ain't that something? You're pulling out all the stops, aren't you? <laughs> Attorney Kushner, now you Im imagine somebody, and by the way, and the reason why this is so funny is because this guy has very close ties to the Nation of Islam. So the jokes write themselves, if you really think about it, they really do write themselves. Oh my goodness. Court, police reports by themselves don't mean anything. We actually have to have the people involved testify. Uh, I've seen so many police reports that are wrong. The police, the police get it wrong. Someone makes something up. Not the in this case. Reinforce what the victim told police at the time. Yep. The incident report says the victim told police Thompson put his hands around her neck and started choking her and told her, I'll choke you until you can't breathe anymore. When she tried to grab the phone, he grabbed it and dismantled it. She then tried to escape out a window and was hanging on to the blinds and the blinds ripped off. As the victim ran to the kitchen to use another phone to call 911, he grabbed her and threw her into the kitchen table, which broke. She says she dialed 911 from the kitchen phone, but was unable to talk because she could not breathe as he was choking her again. The victim told police she grabbed a small club and hit Thompson on the head to try to get him to let go. Mm, mm, mm. There's a police photo of a mark on Thompson's forehead. On Wednesday, Thompson's attorney said the governor and others rushed to judgment by calling for Thompson to resign. They're wrong. He wasn't convicted of any domestic violence crimes, and the cases are all very old. Um, you can see that he's. he's okay, he wasn't convicted because he wasn't convicted because, uh, like I said, he has several charges against him. Um, and uh, this is not the only woman, there's two women. One of them did show up to court to testify. The other one didn't show up. And so that case was thrown out. But the one that was there to show up, uh, when they saw her there, they did not go ahead with the with the proceedings. They went on with a plea deal and then she left. I think those of you who are familiar with court cases, you know, sometimes you can be prepared to testify against someone and then next thing you know the prosecutor and the defense attorney have made a def uh and and his defense def attorney will make a plea deal or you know a compromise and then they'll go from there and then they'll send you home so that i mean dude i don't know what his lawyer is talking about it does not mean he's innocent of these charges. He is guilty of these charges. It's just certain nuances that needs to be applied to the circumstances on why he was not convicted. Been with his wife the whole time. They have a very solid relationship. I've seen- If they have a solid relationship, why is this the first time we have seen her? We have never seen her out of all the times this fool has been making speeches, have been making public appearances. Okay, Piana, Piata, Piata, isn't it Piata? He's been hitting a Piata. I hope I'm saying this word right. Then again, it is Hispanic and I speak English. America. So he's been hitting that she ain't been around so where she is all of a sudden she shows up now because of domestic uh the abuse allegations actually not uh, allegations domestic abuse charges from his past are now surfacing hmm, hmm. okay yeah whatever and they're very attached to each other mr thompson is not an abuser she looked like she eating good too we have left with several old... messages for john thompson and his attorney today his attorney did respond and i sent him the evidence photos but he did not respond after that in that egan case thompson was initially charged with felony assault gross misdemeanor interference with a 911 call and misdemeanor domestic assault those charges were later dismissed and he pleaded guilty to disorderly conduct and was put on probation and ordered to undergo anger management counseling. Kevin? Plea deal. That was a plea deal. That was strictly a plea. Uh, that's what that was. That was, was a plea deal. 
So, <clears throat> so we understand that he was not innocent of anything. Plus, those pictures are real. And the confessions in the incident reports for the police officers based upon the victim are also real. Okay, so like I said, this is just th that woman right there is the one that showed up. The other woman, I do believe her name is her her last name is Mohammed. She's the one who didn't show up uh, to the case, and I, that's the reason why that got dismissed. But anyway, I consider this karma. I am so happy this happened to this fool. Uh, it couldn't happen to a better person, and now. We just have to wait and see if he is actually going to resign. We'll find out if that's the case. But I thought it was amazing that he went and apologized. <laughs> he had to humble himself and go apologize to Mr. White Sergeant Police Officer Man and say that I'm so sorry for falsely accusing you of racially profiling me. Anyway, are you as happy as I am? Because I know I am very happy to see justice prevail. But the story keeps going on. Let's hope that this guy... Uh, is for is forced to resign and uh yeah so far he apologized so his reputation is down the toilet so anyway love to hear what you have to say leave your comment below this video also don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already i look forward to seeing what you guys have to say and be sure to tell a friend later taters later.